Hello, this is Damon Jenkin and today I'm going to show you in Contact 5 how to make a cool little creepy bass line with some phasing in it. Something you might want to use for any sort of dark music or if you're doing some some scoring for something Halloweeny. So let's get started. Click on the browse menu here and go into libraries. You can get your bass sound from files if it's on your desktop, but I know in libraries here in factory selection there are a couple of bases just playing bases it would be fine to use so inside synth here I'll use this one called monster which is quite fitting being that we're using a creepy sound so there's that there we don't need the browser anymore we'll close that give ourselves a bit more space yeah so what we want to do first is go under the hood in the this little toolbar here this is the edit mode at the moment we don't need the mapping editor so we'll get rid of that what we do need is the group editor. So what I want to do is I want to duplicate these these layers or one of these layers. So there's two layers in this base already. If I just click one, right click it and then press duplicate group, I'll get another layer to it. That's what that sounds like there. I'll show you what it was it sounded like beforehand. So that's the base before. And then duplicate just gives it a thicker sound, gives it that extra layer. So what I want to do is turn off edit all groups and just slightly detune one of these layers for that creepier sound. Already you've got you know like an old school organ sound which will work well. So now back into instrument mode we want to save this so if you click on files and go down to save multi as multi because it's multiple instruments because we've duplicated it and I'll call it scary bits. So now that's saved, we want to reload it so we have a duplicate of it. So we'll press files and then load. We can load it from here, or also the other option is pressing files and going to load recent, which is the last one at the top there. Now it asks us if you want to replace the multi, but we don't because we want to merge the two together. So at this point, remember to press no. So here we have it, we've got two of our bases now we saved before. What we want to quickly check is that they both output into the same place. We click and I'll turn it down. Yep, so I just need to check that they're both going to the same MIDI channel and on the same output. So we can get that phasing effect. There we go, that's good. So we'll get rid of the output. And we'll go back into edit mode on one of the bases because what we want to do is we want to add some modulation, add a modulator, and we're going to get an envelope and then ADSR. Now, here, actually, what I want to show you because the screen's quite big now, if you go on a option, do a little trick, you go at the top on interface, press reset size, and then it snaps it back up to its original size so you can see the whole thing. And then when you hover over things, it shows the information there. So this is the modulation intensity, and this is what will give us our phase effect, if you listen. Now you can see the rate of that change in the lower, the lower it is. So around there sounds quite good for the phasing, I think. And also you want to play with the attack to get the sweet spot within the modulation. Just in the envelope there you want to get a nice spot. So that's about right. Now if we go back into instrument mode. We can Listen to the original. And then our new one. A little bit of clipping there. You see that phasing going on. So then just make it that little bit creepier and detune it by one or two. Sounds like an army of angry bees. 
So um, adding some extra release. It's the last a bit longer, and then changing the cutoff frequency just to add a little bit of extra bass in there. And there we have it, a creepy little bass sound. Thank you very much. Thank you.